Youths in Uganda are struggling with the issue of unemployment and most of them do not want to go back to the villages. These youths want to engage themselves in meaningful employment but lack the necessary skills. Their attitude towards entrepreneurship is still low because they lack the appropriate skills. The European Union is supporting international labor organizations train young people with a set of skills that empower them to start their own businesses. And the, the results are amazing. We've, we've seen so many young people starting their businesses. They have employed themselves, they are employing fellow young people, but they are also contributing to the economic development of this country. A number of youths who have benefited from the Youth Entrepreneurship Facility share their success stories. Uh, previously, I had a challenge in my life, and I said it was an issue of raising money for my home, to make my pay school fees. But uh, a friend who told me that once uh, he started he attended training, that was on uh, entrepreneurial skills. He's opened his business, I mean opened a business, his business was successful. And if you are successful, my friend then I do what? Also join. And most effective one was I learned how to make a business plan. That was all what I liked in that because I had no idea how to develop a business plan. And uh, a lot of things which were entailed that I had to work made me to find uh, like the training. I learned uh, one thing how to cost listing. I also learned on uh, as I told you was a business plan. I also learned of uh, uh, so sources of, of uh, getting money for a business, particularly uh, the youth level program. my children and my children themselves have learned that this is part of the fees. Right. So this and this bad is here. Because if I sell two, that is a one somebody's a school fees. So uh, through through this training it has made a change. My future plan for my project is that I want to be the, the biggest supplier of taxes in this sub region. My name is Odoronier Vincent Bryan. When I was invited and I attended the first training, we were given a component of um, start your business um, modules. With Entango coming up with a business plan, I want to assure you I really learned a lot. And now as I talk, I have a business plan and I can make as many business plans as possible in different business areas. In Uganda and Africa as a whole, that really, they should get the skills, they should get the training of ILO so that they establish business that can employ other young people who are really lacking what to do, who are jobless outside. They should not sit and wait. They need to start something and build on. I didn't know about my specific talented skill. So like when the IOO trained us, that's when I gained the skill. I learned a lot of things. For example, IOO trained us to be self-reliant and also to create job for the other youth because youth these days, they're, they're, okay, they're seeking for jobs yet the jobs are at their stake. They can make it on their own. A lot has changed in my life because in those days, I used to depend entirely like on tuition from my parents, but now I'm able to contribute at least half of my tuition. I 
um, the youth out there, I encourage them to always tap their own the untapped talent because we cannot sit back behind here yet we have a lot and in plenty to do like we shouldn't minimize little little things because other people may think that we want only white collar jobs for the training my life uh, was uh, not all that good but after the training i became someone who can uh, do business uh, skillful and there I got more, more, more experience in the business. So it was not a, like a, before I had received that training from the International Labor Organization. So I was lacking some experience uh, in my business and how to start the business. So after the training, I got all this. So there my life, my life uh, became at least improved. Before acquiring how I can get any access to the kind of training that can give me and it can bring me more skill in business, that's why I was so impressive about that, about that training. Very many things were, were given to us. So things like uh, like uh, bringing in business uh, more new things in order to attract and bring more people yeah, to, to what to buy your things there and also how to to what to make some something like a display and uh, and uh, the likes and uh, say Immediately after the training, we form an association for the disabled persons. That is solely a disabled association. And there we are dealing in uh, leather works. There, after, after, after the district gave us some little money from the special grant, we went to Kampala and bring some, some, some small requirements like the soles, uh, glues, and uh, also some other letters and uh, now we are still we are working with some of our 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 disabled persons they are still working on those products i had a lot of a lot of uh, skill which i was missing before getting the training like uh, how to budget how the expense in my business and the profit i normally get but after that training really i know how now to budget for my business and the expenses and the profit and where to place my money now. My life was not all that easy because I had a lot of problems. I could not even know how to plan for my business and really I had nothing like any skill of business in me. So it was hard for me to plan and develop up my business. What motivated me most is that really I just heard about that training of business training. Then I was very interested because, you know, when I, when I started my life, when I dropped out from school, I knew I wanted to have that art of business. So I wanted some skill and the rest of it. So after that, I heard about that. I was very interested to go and attend. In fact, how to plan, how to bank your money, how to see the expenses you are entering in your business and the, what, the profit you are getting, and where to, what, to budget your money and where to put your money exactly. So I learned a lot of it. As I talk now, I know where I can now put my money and how to budget how my business is going. Mr. Katende David is a teacher and a neighbor who gave me the information about the training. He advised me not to miss because it was really important to me as a youth. ILO has been sending different people to monitor my project almost every year. 
I decided to deal in orange plantation because there is market. And this is what IL Auto does. As per now, I'm in the bedding process and in April next year, my seedlings will be ready. Mm. What has changed in my life is I have learned how to budget my time well. Uh, before having that training with the labor organization, life was not easy in business because I couldn't conduct my business very well. Uh, in such a way that I used not to take records of the business, I could not demand very well because sometimes the people I'm supposed to demand, I could forget them, I used not to note them down. I used not to mind of like credits that I normally give out, how I should demand them back into the business. Then customer care, that was something that I never took serious note of. Then timekeeping, I used to come late. I had that feeling that after all that is my business. Um, I have no boss who will back at me. I could come at any time I want, then I close any time I want. Sometimes my customers could call me when I'm at home. But after that training, I had to improve on that all. According to the investigation I did, what I've got to realize from the youths is that uh, for them, what they think of, they think of big capital to start their business. Anything around you is a capital. Being land, and more. Anything you have, capital is not only cash. I'm always so eager to learn many other things. So I was so much interested and eager to learn because you talked about so many packages. Start your business, improve your business, among others. So, so far, uh, the information I got from him, I was very happy and I, was, I had the zeal of mobilizing other young people who were in a position to, to also attend the training. We are around Saturday over who attended the training, and I'm very happy that many of us who are trained actually are doing well. But that's how I got to learn about the training. So knowledge is the power, that you're able to use the knowledge that you've gained to learn so many other things and do them practically yourself. The youth outside there, I was basically, or I rather encourage all of you to come on board and just avoid being given money. Uh, just be, just avoid being given something so that we get finished. But think for knowledge, think for information, do a little of learning. Uh, for that, you are able to fish for the rest of your life. Remember, you can be given some a, a fish to eat and to get finished very fast. But remember, if you're taught how to teach yourself and you are able to get the fishing nets, you'll be able to fish for the rest of your life. These young people from Kitgum, Jinja, Zombo, Gulu, Soroti, Oyam and Mbali have benefited from entrepreneurship skills training with international labor organization supported by the European Union. Their businesses have improved in profitability, improved sales, customer care, record keeping and are now in position to employ fellow youths.